I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk. Hello and welcome to I am LaMarcia Lewis YouTube commentary. Today is Friday, February the 12th, 2021. I wanted to do commentary talking about um, Megan McCain and Sherry Shepard. I saw on, on watching today's show, which was Friday again, February the 12th. I was watching the show and they made mention that Sherry Shepard would be coming to the view next week as they normally do in pre previews and promos uh they let us know who's going to be upcoming guests and things of that perspective for the next week with today being friday and as we will see once the sh uh, show comes on next week as the sh uh, week progress they will also let us know who will be on later within the week i don't know if sherry's day is going to be monday or what we will see monday if she's on if not monday as the week again as the week progress they let us know who the upcoming guests would be but when i heard sherry shepherd when i saw her face because they show primos and pictures and all of this but when i heard the name sherry shepherd i said oh it's commentary got to be done about this because in previous commentary in fact i just did a commentary about uh hillary sd uh malachlan who was one of the uh view executive who last day was this past monday where all the ladies uh, gave their little tributes and attributes uh, to her and all of this. Uh, she was one of the ABC executives uh, that was announced back in December 2020. ABC did a lot of uh, layoffs and let go and service packages and things of this perspective of, again, high executive and just a lot of people in general. And the top executive, Hillary McLaughlin, was one of those people. And in that commentary, I had mentioned how it had been allegedly stated that Megan McCain had had two prominent black women, one that was a previous view co-host, that being Sherry Shepard, along with uh, Tara Sethmeyer, who's a very well at, uh, known Republican as of last year, though she she did announce she's left the Republican Party. Uh, I'm not sure what affiliation of party, she may be an independent now, I'm not sure if I do recall reading that she uh, left, she did go on and leave. Republican Party because as she has stated when she once was a uh, guest co-host on The View and she and McC Megan McCain basically got into it that day Megan McCain not liking what Tara said uh, that it was a cult it had became a Trump cult and uh, 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 Megan allegedly had her band and Sherry Shepard and, uh, and I put that in my commentary with uh, Hillary, Hillary McLaughlin's uh, commentary because Again, she, um, last day was j just Monday of this week. And I had also did a commentary about Megan McCain, John McCain's daughter, is she a racist? And I had did some commentary about, again, the alleged of Megan having two prominent, very well talented, known black women, one of sh being Sherry Shepard, who had been a previous co-host herself a co-host before Megan McCain if you go back and just just say put in the view or put in Megan McCain and Sherry Shepard you see there were some uh, uh shows where Sherry was there as a as a co-host along with others on the panel like Joy and Whoopin out and um, even uh, Barbara Walters and Megan McCain was a guest co-host so but because Megan didn't like uh the answer uh Sherry gave when asked a question of her, just like uh, Megan did the uh, how she tried to interrogate uh, the newly elected Senator Pastor Raphael Warnock, Warnock on January the 6th, which was the same day as we know the insurrection, insurrection lady took place in our country. Megan McCain tried to interrogate uh, the newly elected senator when she asked him a question. He gave her answer, but she being who she is, tried to not interview, but interrogate. And if she, because she, again, if you, she don't like what you give, if you're not basically the words coming out of your mouth that she's not okay with, she wants to try and just interrogate you and just make you do it Megan McCain's way. But again, I saw where Sherry Shepard would be. Coming back to the view, I'm not really sure what the uh, reasoning is. Uh, it's normally, uh, sometimes they just, you know, bring various people back. But normally it's like when something's new going on in their life or, you know, a lot of people that have book deals always come to the view to talk about their 
books, new new upcoming books and things of that nature perspective. But I wanted to do this commentary because ever since it had been allegedly stated that Tara Sefmeyer had been banned from the, being a guest co-host, Sherry Shepard had been banned from being a guest co-host on The View because of Megan McCain, John McCain's daughter, we had not seen these two prominent, very special that of Tara Sefmeyer. I, I really, really like her because she she knows her stuff she gives you the fact and she let the chips fall where they may and that's i mean in, in my opinion if you're going to be a person that's in politics or you are politic political analyst as megan mccain likes to call herself or if you're going to be that like all of them tv talk show hosts you have a platform like that where you're you're being paid to give your opinion and and this and this is not my opinion this is just fact if you're going to be paid to give your opinion, it needs to be that of your true valid opinion. Not that of your husband, the notes and things that you get, your talking points from your husband, or that of the Republican Party, which that is what Meghan McCain does. Many people have often seen she doesn't speak for herself. She speaks from those talking points of the Republican Party. She gets the notes from her husband. And then if you look up his name, Ben Diamond, he, he, you will see what he's known for. P plagiarism as for one. That says a lot. We know that's what Melania Trump did too to uh, our First Lady Michelle Ob Obama. Plagiarized Michelle's speech that she had did at the inaugural, at the uh, convention. And that's what Melania did at the time uh, when Trump was uh, running for president the first time. But again, it had been alleged, and I was really surprised when I saw I'm like, that caught my attention. I had to like double take. Sherry Shepard's going to be able to actually come and be on the So I'm looking to see when Sherry's there, will Megan McCain be there? So keep that in mind. I want to see if Megan McCain is actually going to show up for work, be present on the day that Sherry Shepard comes back to the view. That would be a very telling story. And we shall see. Because, again, ever since those allegements came out about those two people, neither have been co-hosts, guest co-hosts on the view. Very telling. And I have been paying attention to Megan McCain. She's trying to change her image but as we know what is in you is that it's in you but of course we all can change i'm not saying that she isn't hasn't we all can change but i also know every time i've tried to give her the benefit of the doubt she always reverts back to who she is and i do believe that statement of the late dynamic uh Ma angelo when she said when someone shows you who they are believe them believe them the first time and like I said Megan McCain has done this over and over because I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt when I watched her publicly grieve and you publicly saw the hurt that she was going through which was quite natural just lost her father and all of this but every time I've tried to give her the benefit of the doubt she seems to go right back in just like um how she how rude she would be to Sonny and, and just everybody. She's been rude to Sonny. She's been rude to Joy. She's been rude to Whoopi. She's been rude to Sarah. She was even rude to when her friend Abby was on the show. She's rude to the guests. And when they had live audience, she's been rude. She's been that self-entitlement. And she hasn't been ashamed to use the self-entitlement because that's what she's accustomed to. And again, it's been alleged how she would go to the higher ups, the HR, the highest up executive and say, I don't want such and such on the show. Or, I want this, 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 and this, that, that, and that, and seem to have been accommodated. Seem to be, I mean, you got to just call it for, for what it is, how it is, and again, you let the chips fall where they may. Because the truth is always that, the truth. So... I am going to be watching the view next week to see how again I want you know looking forward to seeing Sherry Shepard on the view want to see if uh, Megan McCain will actually show up to work that day and if she does I want to see how her enactment would be with and towards Sherry will she be nice or will she 
you know, be that, that rude, rude, snotty, disrespectful Megan McCain that we so accustomed to. I have been noticing her. She's trying to now change her image. It's, it's uh, been rumored in, uh, in social media and things like that that uh, she knows since coming back from her maternity leave. And a lot of people, like I said, uh, Hillary, her last day was just that of Monday. Then it was announced at the top. Um, executive or whatever the I forget the gentleman's name but he's leaving uh, let me see I might I think I had something about that because I wanted to do some commentary about him let me see if I can find it yeah uh, James veteran ABC news chief Jane Golson resigns uh, so it's been stated that she had the pool with the higher up so basically what she, Megan wanted Megan has been accustomed to getting so I want to see how she's gonna interact with Sherry will she be civil will she again again or will she just be the uh, snotty brat rude unprofessional disrespectful Megan McCain that we all are accustomed to um, but she's been trying to somewhat be nice and I pay it is and if you if, I want you to do this as well if you watch the view and if you don't watch maybe start watching and, and, and make sure to keen in on how Megan McCain acts now her facial expression uh, her tone and all of these things because it's been stated since coming back uh, from her maternity leave and like I said a lot of people leaving that she she doesn't really have the job security as she previously had that still remains to be seen Again, that's just what's out there, the speculation that has been put out uh, recently in regards to Megan McCain. And that's allegedly, of course, but I, I've read it and I've seen it on social media and the internet and Twitter and, and all of these various things. But I pay attention. It's hard for her to fake it. In my opinion, that is what she's doing. She's faking that she's changing or that she's nice because those facial you can say and do anything but your face your facial expressions your tone and all of these things will tell the real truth and she it's hard for her to to you know she try to smile and it's barely a smile it's just so in my opinion just so not not authentic it's, it's fake but she's trying she's trying to add like she's got a you know a softer tone a different perspective she's now open and trying to see things from all from all various of lenses and things of this but what's in you is in you again can people change can anyone change yes of course but again that that is in you and because she, that's who she's been for all of her basically 36 years of life. She's been accustomed to having her way. She's been accustomed to being spoiled. She's been accustomed to treating people. However, because when uh, her father back in 2008, he was the Republican candidate against that of uh, President Barack Obama. It was said that she was fired because she worked on her dad's campaign. It was said that she was fired, but of course she said she wasn't fired. She was just asked to leave, whatever, however you want to call it. He was asked to leave, fired. And as we know, her dad did nothing about it. And that says a lot. And then we've just seen over the years, and especially the past four years, she's been on The View. Like I say, how rude she's been to everyone. All the co-hosts that have been uh, Whoopi, the moderator, Joy, the oldest one on that panel, she basically has shown how her parents did not give her, didn't raise her to respect her elder. I understand the ladies have different opinions. That's what the view is all about. But it's not about you being rude, especially to that of your elders. No one should have to tell you, you know, on national TV, call Joy a B I T C H. And I don't care if y'all do do that in text and all that. And you know, I know we know Joy's a comedian, but the day she called her that on the show. That wasn't, that was just completely disrespectful. And then when she slung her hair, uh, you're, you, you're, you're, uh, you're paid to listen to me. Well, guess what? FYI, you're also paid to listen to Joy. 
Megan. But see, things of that. And let that have been Sunny flipping hair. That she probably would have got reprimanded, wrote up, or something put in her personnel file. But see, Megan McCain has been accustomed to doing whatever, acting however she wants, saying whatever she wants, just like she uh, has done to uh, to Whoopi. When Whoopi had to say, girl, shut up, yeah, and all of these things. When she tried to say, well, you can see the, the, where I interviewed Whoopi, I was there. And she was there. But, and then, like I say, she goes on Twitter, I would never stop talking and all this, but let it comes out your mouth. You have lied and stated that we leave it at the table. If you leave it at the table, why are you being disrespectful to your fellow co-hosts? Especially that a Whoopi Gober, a woman of her caliber, that Megan McCain would never be able to meet. In fact, Megan McCain is not on the caliber of, or any of, of any of those women. And she knows it. She sits there because her name is that of her last name, Megan McCain. Because she is that of John McCain's daughter. But that's what my commentary, I'm not, because I, as y'all, sometimes I can just go on and on and on. But make sure next week you watch The View. I, I'm definitely going to be making sure I be attentive on the day that Sherry Shepard is back uh, on The View. I want to see if Megan is going to be there. It wouldn't surprise me if she didn't. but And if she don't, that really will give a little more, to, in my opinion, uh, how just what we heard in previous time that she had uh, Sherry banned allegedly and all of this. So if she don't show up, that let us know that has some truth to it and that she basically hasn't gotten beyond it. Because this was back around 2018, we are, and this is now 2021. So it's going on three years and um, so, but let's just see how things be next week. And again, I pay attention to Megan McCain because she flip flops so much. It's hard to give her the benefit of the doubt. Although I have tried because I tried to do it when her dad passed away, but seeing her publicly and openly grieve and how the, all the co-hosts just raved around her when she did re uh, return back to the table. Then I saw the day when she told Sonny, uh, you don't have to look at me that way. I get paid. Like, like she's the only one get paid. All of them are there because they have a job. It's five co-hosts. It's not just Megan McCain. And they all have the right to say what they want, but to do that respectfully. And which basically everyone else does other than that of John McCain's daughter, Megan McCain. So I have tried to give her on numerous time the benefit of the doubt, but she always considers seems to just revert back to being that very snotty brat self entitlement and like hey it's my way or no way i'm john mccain's daughter i'm megan mccain so we just see how next week uh turns out i'm lamarcia lewis let's talk